Best perk for every killer in DBD, explain in under three minutes. Ready, go. Trapper, use corrupt intervention so you can have time at the start of the game to properly place your traps around the map and use save the best for last so you can have quicker M1 attacks. Wraith, use nurse's calling to sneak up and down injured survivors really easily and use pop to quickly travel to generators and damage them while you're still cloaked. Billy, use infectious fright to slug with your chainsaw really easily and use discordance to find survivors quickly at the start of the match and have the potential to slug two or more survivors that were on the gen. Nurse, use discordance to quickly find survivors survivors at the start of the match and also slug survivors that are grouped up at a gen and use infectious fright to slug really easily. Myers, use monitor and abuse to stalk even more stealthily and way easier and use infectious fright to easily slug survivors when you're in your tier 3. Hag, use corrupt intervention so you have time at the start of the match to properly place your traps around the map and use make your choice to easily one shot the rescuing survivor if you place traps around the hook. Doctor, use huntress lullaby to have even harder skill checks and use unnerving presence to have even harder skill checks. Pair this with distressing to have an even bigger your terror radius so that unnerving presence works even better. Huntress, use Iron Maiden to reload your hatches quicker and use Discordance to throw hatches from a distance at those highlighted gens. Bubba, use Infectious Fright to slug really easily and use Monitored Abuse to easily sneak up on survivors and get an easy chainsaw one shot. Freddy, use Pop to damage the generators you teleport to and use Thrilling Tremors to know what gens to actually teleport to. Pig, use Save the Best for Last for faster M1. She can also ambush the obsession to save her stacks and use Nurse's Calling to easily sneak up on healing survivors. Clown, use Pop because you're be hooking a lot of people so you can slow the game down by damaging gens and use brutal strike to quickly damage the pallets that the survivors had dropped early to try and counter you spirit use strider to hear survivors in your phase walk way easier and use sloppy butcher to see the blood trails in your phase walk way easier legion use tenatophobia to slow gen progress and force survivors to heal and use ruin to slow gen progress even more play use tenatophobia to slow gen progress when survivors don't cleanse ghost face use surveillance to know what gens to sneak up on and use nurse calling to sneak up on healing survivors demo use corrupt intervention to have time to place your portals in good places around the map at the start of the match and use a save the best for last to have a faster m1 and you can also shred the obsession to save your stacks oni use infectious fright to slug way easier in your blood fury and use corrupt intervention to gain your power without getting gen rush at the start of the game deathslinger use modern abuse to sneak up on survivors and get easy close range shots and use trail of torment to be undetectable for potentially a really long time in the match pyramid head use nurse's calling to be able to sword swipe healing survivors and use discordance to have the potential to sword swipe two or more people on a gen. Blight, use Tinkerer to be able to sneak up on gens that are close to being done, and use Surveillance to know what gens to actually rush to. Twins, use Thanatophobia because you're going to be injuring a lot of people with Victor, and use Ruin to slow down gen progress when you're actually pressuring with Victor. Trickster, use Iron Maiden to reload your knives faster.